Hello family, I am Amber and this is Making Room For More. Today, I'm going to be breaking down for you a question that I get pretty often. How do you do it all, Amber, and how do you make it look so easy? I'm gonna give you some keys on how you can juggle all that you might have going on in life, but still make sure that you have this sense of fulfillment and purpose in between without being completely burnt out, trying to get it all done. Stick with me today. I also have something special for you at the end that's really gonna bring it all together. Let's get into it. First of all, I wanna let you in on a little bit of a secret. I don't do it all, and that's probably one of the reasons why I maybe make it look a little bit easy. I am a wife of 15 years. I married my childhood sweetheart. I have three beautiful children and one on the way, and I'm also a business owner. So working wife, mom of four, basically, and life, womanhood, everything else in between, it is not easy. Let's just start there. It can be a tough job, but there are a few keys that can make everything so much easier. One, first of all, priorities. Being able to be very, very clear on what your priorities in life are, are going to help you eliminate all the extra distractions and noise in between that really causes what ends up being burnout. Think about Pac-Man, okay? Maybe I'm old school, but that Pac-Man game when there's all those little dots all over the screen and then all of a sudden there's like the ghost coming and you're trying to get to the cherries and you're trying to get to whatever other fruits that are in the, that game. It's been a little while since I've played that game. When there's so many things going on at one time, it's hard to really focus, it's hard to really juggle and as you move into new levels, that's when it gets really hard because everything starts moving faster and there's just so much coming at you at once. One thing that I want you to get into your mind right now, you do not have to be everyone's savior. As a woman, sometimes I think that we feel we have to take everything on, that we can't be realistic with ourselves, we can't ask for help, and we just have to do it all. But that is not true. Being crystal clear on not only what your priorities are, but also what success looks like in those areas. Even write them down if you have to. Order them and prioritize them because it's gonna help you make decisions about how you spend your time, what you do throughout the day, and it's also gonna help you make sure you don't forget about someone else who's important in this whole equation, which is you. The second thing that is extremely important is not losing your own personal sense of identity and purpose in the midst of those things. That person that you are before you're a mother, before you're a wife, before you're a businesswoman or a daughter or the other things that you have responsibilities in. It's great to pour out and give back and handle your responsibilities and be a boss and take care of everyone else. If you don't have a sense of purpose on your own, what's important to you, what makes you thrive, what makes you tick, you are really, really, really gonna have a hard time being all of these other things and doing all of these other things constantly because you're gonna face burnout on your own. You have to know who you are and not worry about keeping up with anyone else. You might see the next person who has six kids and they're working three businesses and they're doing this and that and the other and that's great for them. Maybe that that's their life, maybe that's their choice. You never know what might be going on behind the scenes. It's gonna be hard to cover up eventually the fact that you're missing that own sense of fulfillment and purpose in your own life because when you have that, it gives you energy that carries on to the other areas of your life and that only trickles down to the other people that you're working so hard to make sure everything is okay for. Think about a battery, right? Your phone or your computer, whatever you might be watching with right now, it only lasts for so long. There's only so many apps that you can run at one time, only a certain amount texting, there's only a certain amount of capacity that that device can handle before it's gonna go completely dead. The point is for you to be able to thrive and to be happy in doing all of the things that you have to do in life. And when you're doing that, when you have that in harmony and when it's in sync, it shows through and you have the power to do what you're doing and make it look so easy because you're really doing you. It's gonna come naturally, more naturally than trying to keep up with the next person or paint some picture that's not realistic. If it's important for you to have time with your girls, if you're outgoing and you love to 
you know, hang out with the girls and have a weekend or whatever it might be, make sure you carve out those times and figure out a way to make that happen. If you have to get a babysitter, if you have to get a family member, do what you have to do. Now, of course, things might not look exactly the same as they did when you didn't have a husband or a significant other or several children that are counting on you. You might not be able to do that to the same quantity that you did it before, but you also have to make sure you find the time for that. And I already know what you're thinking. I have too much on my plate. I don't have time to look for a sitter. I don't have time to do these different things. But the truth is you really don't have time not to. Because trust me, if there's something that you really want to get done, you find a way to get it done. Getting proper rest, exercising, eating properly. And speaking of eating properly, okay, side note. I think that eventually I'm going to go vegetarian. Before I was pregnant, actually stopped eating a lot of meat. And then when I got pregnant, it was just all downhill with meat and everything. But I personally think that I might potentially just go vegetarian after I have this child. So if you are a vegetarian out there and you have any tips on transitioning, please let me know because I could really use your help on that. Back to you, prioritizing you, your health, your well-being, what you need in order to survive and thrive as an individual is so, so important. And if you don't do that, you're going to feel it in every other area of your life. The third thing that is so important is to eliminate stressors in your life. Yes, you cannot control every little thing that happens to you all the time, but if there's certain things that you just know automatically that are going to tick you off and get your feathers ruffled, that's just going to make make doing everything else that you have to handle throughout the day so much harder and so much more annoying and probably much more frustrating than it needs to be. If you're the type of person who does not handle conflict very well and you have that one person that can blow up your phone or send you a text message and get you all rattled and off pace, make sure that depending on who it is. Now, sometimes if it's a family member, you can't quite completely dismiss them, but maybe you don't open up that text message until the end of the day, or you don't necessarily pick up that phone call right away, or once you get the different things that you have going on for the day done, then that's when you address that. Whatever it takes for you to eliminate the things that you can control in your life that are stressful for you, go ahead and do that because it's just going to help your days and your life and everything that you're handling as a responsibility so much easier. The fourth thing is planning. So you have clarity around your priorities. You know what's important to you and how you can get outlets in life. The thing that is a, that is a crucial step to help bring everything together is proper planning. If you know that you have an event to go to tomorrow morning and you're going to have to take the baby to the sitter, then pack the diaper bag ahead of time. Even pack your lunch ahead of time if you have to. If you already know you're on a tight schedule, start planning the birthday parties way in advance. Christmas is coming up. Start getting your Christmas list together. Whatever you're able to actually start planning for ahead of time. Some of these things come every single year, same time every year. It's not a surprise. And so when you know you have things coming up, it just helps you juggle more at once if you have this checked off. And then if something unexpected pops up, you already have a little bit more time because you're not frantically struggling at the last minute to get 10 other things done that probably could have been done a little bit earlier. Number five, and this is probably the most important one for me, is my spiritual health and faith and well-being. Being grounded in God and knowing who I am in Him and relying on Him for all the strength that I need in my life and all the wisdom and giving me the guidance on how to navigate and juggle and balance out everything is so like my lifeline. It truly is. And that is something that helps me keep it together when things get tough. That's something that helps me figure out solutions when I don't have any solutions and just really truly gives me the picture of how I can be my best, how I can walk in my purpose, but then also still do all of the other things that I need to do in the midst of that. 
So those are some keys to start getting into this place in life where you can handle it all, but you can also still have peace and happiness in the midst of all of it. And I encourage you to take some time to jot those things down. What's important to you? What are your priorities? What does success look like? And start to walk in those things. Even if you have to chip away little by little, go ahead and do it. And where I find fulfillment is helping other women for a point in my life was in a place where I felt all alone. I felt like nobody understood me. I just felt like I didn't even really know which way was up or how to go about being the person that I wanted to be and getting to the things that I wanted to get to in life. And that was a dark, 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 dark and hard place. It took years really for me to fully flourish into who I wanted to be. And that's something that I'm extremely passionate about. That's something that helps me juggle the different things that I'm doing because it's so important to me. Speaking of that, time management is my thing. I have a tool for you, an ebook that I've written, and it really helps you do exactly everything that we just talked about. It helps you get clear vision on what your priorities are, how to go about managing those priorities, getting rid of clutter and chaos in your life so you can truly walk into being the best person that you are on this earth to be. And I wanna give that away to you. I'm gonna link it below. Use the free code on my website, which I'll also link below, and you can get your free copy. I will tell you, it is a limited number of copies, so don't drag your feet. If you are really ready to make a change, go ahead and get started. If you have more questions, if you have comments about things in your life that you still face challenges with, I would love to hear from you. Let's talk about it in the comments. You can also find me on social media where I share more tips and encouragement, how to really just get to your best you in life. That's out of life with more. I'll link that below too. Making room for more is my family thing. If you enjoyed this, that you like and you subscribe and also, I have a question for you. If there's something else that you're wondering about that you just have questions around, I'm always loving to make things that are helpful to you. So please tell me those things too because you might just find it in a future episode. That is it for now. Make sure that you take care of yourself. You be you. Go out and do it because you can. But the point is, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You have to do what's important to you, what matters to you deep down inside. And when you can find that, that's when you can really make it all happen. And I say make it all happen because you're not really making it all happen. But we just talked about that. Until next time, please take care.